Now in this question, we're given that f of theta is equal to 4 cos squared theta minus 3 sine squared theta. And we're asked to show that f of theta equals a half plus 7 over 2 cos 2 theta. And to do a question like this, what I notice is that we've got to get our value of f of theta in terms of cos 2 theta. And all we've got is theta, angles in terms of theta. So we should be familiar with an identity based around the double angle formulae for cos of 2 theta. Generally, you'll find in textbooks and formula books, they're going to give you the cosine of 2a. Cos 2a is essentially identical to cos squared a minus sine squared a. But it's not this identity that we need. There's two other versions for cos 2a. If you replace cos squared a with 1 minus sine squared a, remember the identity sine squared a plus cos squared a is 1, so cos squared a is 1 minus sine squared a, then you end up with 1 minus sine squared a minus another sine squared a, 1 minus 2 sine squared a in other words. And similarly, sine squared a is the same as 1 minus cos squared a. And when you use that identity and substitute it into here, you get the identity 2 cos squared a minus 1. And it's these two identities for cos 2a that we need to use in this question. Because if we take, for instance, this first term, which we've got cos squared theta in, if we take this identity, cos 2a is identical to 2 cos squared a minus 1, and rearrange this for 2 cos squared a, can you see what we're going to get? We're going to get 2 cos squared a is identical to 1 plus cos 2a. 1 plus cos 2a. That's if we add 1 to both sides. So we can adapt this for what we've got here. We've got 4 cos squared theta. So if we let the a be theta, and we just see that to get that 4, we need to double this result. Okay, So we can say that this is equal to, instead of the 4 cos squared theta, we can say it's 2 lots of 2 cos squared a, in other words, 2 lots of 1 plus cos 2 theta, a being the theta. All right? Now, what about this next term, minus 3 sine squared theta? Well, again, we've got to take this second identity, cos 2a is identical to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And this time, if we make 2 sine squared a the subject, okay, let's just put also down here, we've got that 2 sine squared a, if we add it to both sides, 2 sine squared a is identical to, and if we take cos 2a from both sides, we get 1 minus cos 2a. So if we now divide through by 2, you end up with sine squared a is identical to a half minus a half cos 2a. So if a is theta, we've got sine squared theta is identical to half 1 minus cos 2 theta. And we can substitute that into here. So we've got minus 3 multiplied by essentially sine squared theta, which is going to be a half minus a half cos 2 theta. Half minus a half cos 2 2 theta. So all we need to do now is just start to expand this out. So if we expand the first bracket, we've got 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times cos 2 theta is 2 cos 2 theta. Expand the second bracket out, we've got minus 3 times a half is minus 3 over 2, and minus 3 times minus a half cos 2 theta is plus 3 over 2 cos 2 theta. And if we group together our terms now, we've got 2 minus 1 and a half is going to be half. 
and then 2 cos 2 theta plus another 1.5 cos 2 theta is going to be 3.5 cos 2 theta or simply 7 over 2 cos 2 theta. Alright, and that's what we had to show. So, hope that's given you an idea then on that one.